Let's do a couple of exercises to discover the balance of the little finger. For these exercises, I find it useful to have the little finger on the top of the stick so one can feel the bow balance. In doing this, we're not creating a violin bow hold in which the fingers are pronated. We can keep our cello square position, but just move the little finger up onto the top of the bow. Now find how the little finger can control this up and down movement of the bow. If the joints of the little finger are bending inward, they're probably not strong enough, in which case you can do some isometrics to strengthen the fingers, which I discuss in another blog. Next, exercise the finger by making various circles and arcs in the air. Always monitor the thumb, making sure it's round and bending. You can spell your name at the tip of the bow or write some words in cursive. Now let's check to see if you're finding a good balance in your bow hand. Hold your bow out and release your little finger. If your bow stays steady like it is for me right now, that means you're squeezing with the thumb, and of course that's not good. If when you release the little finger, the bow drops down, then you found a good bow balance. The bow is basically balanced in your hand with the little finger. Now you can do some flexibility exercises for the little finger, such as what I call the wiggle waggle. Let the little finger do all the work. Don't move the arm and go from the C string to the A string and back. And a good way to do this is to attach the lower arm to the cello and do the same exercise, the wiggle waggle. In playing a passage such as from the Dupour Etude Number no. 7, a lot of the motion happens with the little finger. If I were to do it mostly with the upper arm, I'd be exhausted. <laughs> Thank you.